This video is a brief overview of the changes that ERA has introduced for a new streamlined option for submitting administrative supplements to NIH. I'm Lori Roman and I'm the Customer Relationship Manager for eSubmissions. As of July 25, 2020, there will be three methods for initiating administrative supplements through ERA systems. One can initiate their application and assist using the funding opportunity announcement and entering data manually. Alternatively, one can initiate and assist, enter the federal identifier of the parent grant award, and then some of the information from the parent award will be pre-populated. The third option is to uh, go to ERA Commons and after identifying a specific grant eligible for an administrative supplement, the user can then be directed to assist where some of the information from the apparent award will be pre-populated. Regardless of the method selected, administrative supplements will be submitted electronically through grants.gov. Applicants can still use institutional system-to-system -system solutions as well as grants.gov's workspace to submit administrative supplements. However, paper submissions in the previous streamlined process within ERA that did not go through grants.gov will no longer be accepted. Users will have the option to pre-populate only the PDPI information from the parent award or all of the persons listed on the senior key personnel form. The same is true for performance sites. Because the expectation is that administrative supplement requests need to supply new information, not all of the data from the parent award is carried over to the supplement, saving the user the burden of having to delete information that has changed. A unique supplement label field has also been provided so users can readily identify the supplements that have been initiated. A field for the user to enter a notice of special interest, also known as a NOSI, has also been included on the initiation screen. So in the next few screens, I'm gonna walk through screenshots of what this looks like in ASSIST. So the first case is to initiate in ASSIST without a federal ID of the apparent award. Once an administrative supplement has been entered into the field funding opportunity announcement, ASSIST will recognize that the FOA is for an administrative supplement and present a new screen, initiate administrative supplement. However, because the federal ID from the parent grant is not entered, all of the information pertaining to the application will need to be entered manually. In the second option, by adding a federal ID, which is the for, in the form of the I see in the serial number of the apparent award, certain information from the parent grant will be pre-populated into the administrative supplement application. For instance, if the two checkboxes seen here at the arrow are checked, the system will pre-populate all of the project performance sites location and all of the individuals entered on the senior key form from the parent grant. If the boxes are not checked, only this information in terms of performance site and PI information for the PDPI will be entered. The third option is to initiate the, the supplement process starting at ERA Commons. So the user logs in with their ERA Commons credentials and clicks on the Administrative Supplement tab. This launches the Manage Administrative Supplement Search this is the screen that is depicted on the slide. This launches the administrative supplement search screen, which is depicted on, on the screen here. Um, on this screen, awards eligible for administrative supplements will be displayed. Clicking the three dot icon highlighted by the yellow box will, relate, will uh, reveal a menu. Selecting the Manage op option opens the Award Information screen where previous administrative supplements have been initiated and are in progress are listed. Existing supplements can be modified using the Manage menu option. A new supplement can be initiated in Commons by selecting the Start Application menu option. The process then follows um, as previously been described. 
the administrative supplement can be initiated from ERA Commons by any PDPI signing official or a user with the assistant role who's been given the progress report delegation by the PI. In assist, both the PI or any PDPI on the application and the SO can initiate the administrative supplement and use the pre-populate features if their organization ID matches the organization ID on the parent grant. Should you have any questions about this video, you can uh, contact or submit a ticket to the ERA service desk. Thank you for your attention.